welcome to Doublebit's workshop. Today's video we're going to go through and make a nice little storage device. A friend of mine actually commissioned me to take these little vials here and uh, he's gonna have I believe it's uh, 12 in a little container. He wants me to make these little like uh, treasure chests essentially that house them. It seems like it'd be a real fun little project. So we're gonna go through. He kind of gave me rough parameters but a little bit of creative uh, leniency uh, or however you want to say that gave me a creative liberty it's a better way to say it uh, so we're going to go through today and build a nice little chest up for it he said he wants three so i'm going to make a preliminary if he likes it i'll move forward and make another two for him otherwise this will be one of a few chests that i'll be building just more or less it sounded like a fun project i have some extra bits of wood as well as there are some uh, sheet goods i'll be using for the project as well so stay tuned hopefully you enjoy as well all right, so my friend actually supplied me with the vials, or a vial for testing, and the preliminary drawing they had set up for the insert inside of each of the chests. The chests are actually going to be pretty decent size for the most part. The tray is going to be eight and a half inches by five and a quarter, and then I'll probably be adding on half inch material on both sides, so approximately nine or so inches for the width of it and probably a good six to maybe even seven inches for the depth of the project. Alrighty, so here we have that template for each of the little vials. I cut three boards. I can refine the edges a little bit. But what we're going to use this template. We're going to overlay it. Line it up on there. I'm going to use my hole punch. Punch in each of the holes. And, uh, my friend actually let me borrow his drill press. I'm looking at needing one of these for the shop. It's going to be probably one of my future purchases. But Put old Harbor Freight again with the Central Machinery 5-speed bench drill press. If he lets me borrow it long enough, I'll do a review on it, and maybe I'll pick one up for myself. So, keep an eye out for that in the future, and uh, away we go. So I was able to drill out each of the holes and then I ended up putting cork in them. Just loose for the moment. A few of them are actually nice and snug enough of a fit that it keeps them pretty well in place. A few of them are a little more loose, like that one, where it doesn't quite catch. Like I said earlier, some of them are actually quite tight and it's just pressure fit in there for the most part. So I'm going to go through and I will eventually glue the cork in and I'll probably do a stain over the wood so that way it's not blonde. Uh, there is a little bit of tear out in some spots but that's the nature of plywood where they don't always glue all the way through. You can see that in some of the layers and on the underneath but it's going to get stained and it'll add kind of the character of it and it'll hopefully end up turning pretty cool looking. So I'm going to go through, bust through the other two so that way I've gotten the go ahead to continue going with these. So. See how the rest of them turn out.
So the other ones worked out really good and they all were having no issues whatsoever. The third one actually went ahead and stained, but you'll see here some of the uh, plywood actually chipped. Let's see if I can get that to focus on there for you. There it is. So it blew apart the top layer of the plywood, sadly, on both sides. So it had a kind of a patina, but it wasn't really the look that the uh, client wanted. So we're gonna go through and redo that one. This is along the lines of what we actually want it to look like. See, look at that, and that stain is just looking awesome. So, what it should look like, what this one looks like. So, I'm gonna cut out another piece, and I also gotta do the bottoms next. So, time to do a couple more cuts, and keep on going on with the project. So at this point in the process, what I'm going to go through and do is I uh, went through and planed each of the individual little boards that had these up in my nice new storage up above. And uh, these are going to go through and now get ripped in half. I have two other little test pieces from a prior project that I was kind of playing around for dimension. So the height of this is actually going to be three inches and I'm going to make, uh, well actually a little over three inches. I think I'm going to go for like three and a quarter or something like that. I'll I'll lay it out a little bit better here at the end to give you a full finalized dimension on it. But I'm going to set both pieces on top of each other after I cut them, just so that way it adds kind of like a nice little intrigue, having a little bit like an old chest that was used to miscellaneous boards and whatnot, or just multiple boards and such for a good look. And it's going to be just a little bit deeper than the actual height of the vial, so that way you kind of have to peer into it a bit. Uh, the client slash friend and I were talking about that, so that way he gets a, kind of an ominous idea is what he thought, just kind of, whoa, well, what's in the box? So, we're going to go through, make a cut down the dead center, and go from there. not without trial and error and get a little tired so I, I messed up. My original idea was to have the base and then one of the sides to sit like so and then I was going to have this piece overlap so that the joint looks flush in the front and you can see it on the side. Well in all of my infinite wisdom as I was cutting I made everything match. <laughs> um, when you do that, you end up with corners like that instead of like that. So, eh, eh. so I got to recut the face caps, but it will be fine. I'll make do. <laughs>
here we have a nice little successful build of the potion chest or treasure chest as it may be viewed as as well. Well, we might use that as a little link in the description there for you. Turned out rather well actually. I'm quite happy with it. It gave me a lot of challenges and a lot of uh, fight back, which is nice though. I, I haven't had a good challenging project in a little bit here. So this turned out a lot better than I had anticipated. Halfway through I feel like any kind of artist or woodworker or construction person kind of ends up getting a little aggressive or agitated at the project at first. They're about halfway through. They don't feel it's going to come together. It's not going to look the way they have it in their head. And this ended up surprising me very well. Uh, it, it came together in the last little few segments of adding in the hardware and little chains on it. And then just when I was able to see what each of the little vials look like on the inside, it just came together perfectly. And I'm quite happy with it. We put LEDs in the bottom of it to help illuminate each of the little vials underneath of it and it just it ended up lining out so well that I think I'm going to go through and probably I don't know it's going to be soon or a little bit later but I think I'm going to build a few more of these. I'm enjoying the look of them and the, uh, the little nice challenges that they give me. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And I tended to waffle a little bit, especially here at the end, ending there, and I apologize for that a bit. But, take them back. It's a good project and really enjoyed it, and hopefully the uh, client or friend of mine will enjoy it just as much as I have building it. And I'll have to make a Mark II, Mark III, or just make one for myself exactly, or, of course, different, and tinkered with in some way or another. But if you did like this video, and if you enjoyed watching me build this or any of the other products that I have on my channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to keep getting notifications each time I pump this content out. I try to shoot for twice a week. So thank you very much. Have yourself a good one.